Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. My name is Anna from TA Appliances and Barbecue and today I am here at the Frigidaire showroom to show you a very fun wall oven. This is the Frigidaire Gallery wall oven combination with microwave. Uh, and it also comes in a single wall oven and a double wall oven as well. It's brilliant over here. And uh, one of the reasons uh, we're talking about this today is they do have a fall reno event on today and you can save up to $1,000 on qualifying purchases. And you'll find more information about that on the right side of your screen. Uh, so let's dive into why this oven is awesome and why I really enjoy it. So at the top we have a microwave, but it also is a convection oven. If you get in close, you can see a fan at the back and these are true convection ovens, which means there's an element behind uh, the fan. So you're actually blowing hot air from the back of the fan instead of just uh, recirculating the hot air from the top and bottom elements. In the bottom, um, there's a surprise. <laughs> Uh, I have had these wonderful cookies baking in this oven with their little eyes. And I'm going to talk a bit more about how we make those after I go through the oven. Uh, but as you can see, much bigger fan in the back than the top. Broiler on the top. Hidden element on the bottom. Six racks, including my favorite... The telescopic rack. You love the telescopic rack. I love racks. a telescopic rack. Uh, you can also purchase an additional uh, fry basket with this because this oven does air fry. There are so many different ways to cook in this oven, which is another reason why I love it. Touch screen at the top to show your time. Microwave or oven. Oven modes, so many different oven modes. Bake, convection bake, air fry. You don't need a countertop air fryer anymore. No preheat, which is very fun. So you can put oven, you can set to no preheat, put your food in the oven. So you're doing like something dense and frozen like a lasagna or something like that. You don't have to wait for the oven to preheat, which means you're gonna get food to your table a lot faster. Slow cook, you can get rid of your slow cooker. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Elaine, how you doing? Uh, what is a telescopic rack? She's asking. Oh, elaborate. let's look. That's, this is Anna's favorite thing in the world. I'm telling you. It slides. So it's on a track and it actually rolls out without it like sliding all the way out. Like it won't come all the way out. Exactly. So it supports. So if you were to slide out one of these, it's going to fall. Right. Right. It can't support the weight of what you have on it, but this is meant to support the weight if you've got a casserole dish on there. So you're not having to reach into the oven and possibly burn yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a lot safer that way. And it just glides so smoothly. Yes, and is all about this. Every time we check out a new oven, she's like, telescopic racks, yes. Brings me joy when I find a telescopic rack. I know I've singed my arm, my forearm on the element before in my house. So. Oh yeah, definitely. You know? uh, it also comes with this Awesome temperature probe. And a lot of temperature probes go into the side of the oven. So I honestly always forget to attach my temperature probe before I start cooking. And then I'm like having to reach into the hot oven and find where it uh, slips in. They've uh, changed it. So it's actually on the outside and it's, this is red, this is a big red box. And so it's very easy to find. Oh. Whereas in a lot of ovens you see it's like in the side, it's hard to find. Uh, but there it's very easy. And then you can just put it into your roast. Mm -hmm. uh, LM was asking if that rack can be moved. So I believe it can be moved. Yeah, it doesn't have you can no, it change doesn't the have setup, to live there. But the convenience of being able to pop it in and out fast. Yeah will not be as convenient as the regular racks. No, you'd want to set it up where you're most likely going to be use it. It yeah. can be moved around, but not as easily as, say, any of your other racks. Right, like it can be put on any of the spots, but yeah. you're kind of committing to it without taking extra time to move it around, so. The outside is smudge proof, which is great if you have little hands. Mm -hmm. Or my hands, which always seem to be greasy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's great for that. 
beautiful touch screen. Mm -hmm. Really easy to use. All right. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. Oven light. All right, turn on that light. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on those cookies and those pizzas and everything else. Mm -hmm. Like these beautiful cookies. Yes, now what do we got going on here with the cookies? So, it's Halloween. I'm sure you have, you will have lots of extra goodies around that you may not want your kids to eat because it's lots of sugar. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And so one way that you can use up some of those things, especially things like the caramels or if you're not a fan of the candy corn and you want to use it in a different way instead of just throwing it out, you can make kitchen sink or sometimes they're called compost cookies. So basically take your favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe and instead of chocolate chips, mix in chopped up Kit Kats or chopped up uh, the peanut butter cups, anything that you really like. There's even some of those... Um, candy corn or the pumpkins oh. and then for fun i found these eyeballs and those just put hilarious. them on top so they just look like little monsters <laughs> those are hilarious and potato chips really yeah you put potato chips in the cookies yeah so a lot of <laughs> recipes will call for salt replace your salt with crunched up potato chips That's or pretzels interesting. yeah 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 pretzels make sense because pre pretzels and chocolate go together all the time and everything right exactly so. Wow, there you go, folks. That's a little pro tip right there, huh? Some potato chips in your cookies as well as all that delicious stuff. What do you got in these ones exactly? So in these ones, I've got some Reese's Pieces, some Kit Kats, mm -hmm. um, O. Henry, potato chips. Yeah. Yeah. And those uh, those pumpkins that are like candy corn but are shaped like pumpkins. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And they actually, you want to make sure, if you're using like a caramel or something like that, that you've really wrapped it in the batter because otherwise it's going to just spill out onto your um, baking sheet and cook right. there. And then burn, <laughs> burn. right? Caramel yeah. burns fast. Exactly, you can, I did have some of that happen with this, but if you just set it, let it set for like three minutes mm -hmm. and then you'll be able to pull it off in a single sheet instead of like stringy right. on the pan, if that makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if you ever get it just stuck on afterwards and like you've got your cookies off, but you just kind of got caramel and stuff, any kind of sugar like that, it's just, it's water. You can let water yeah. soak. I mean, sugar yeah. cannot stand against hot, water. Hot water, Yeah. hot, hot water. Pour boiling water on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. So you would be able to pop those in there. Exactly. And how often do you see a convection oven in a microwave? Mm-hmm. That's very cool. So what are some of your favorite uh, ways to cook? I want to hear about it in the chat. Yeah, like what would you add in your cookies? Yeah, that too. Uh, L double D is saying, uh, would the same happen with the old molasses Halloween candies? Oh, good point. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, you could use those. Yeah. You'd probably, you'd, again, you probably want to make sure they're not stuck. Make sure they're wrapped really well in your batter. Yeah. When you do that. You know. And let them set because they'll be like hot lava. Yeah. Yeah, you don't eat them fresh out of the oven, that's for sure. No, let them sit for three to five minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Well, we're, what else while we're in the showroom here? Like, what are we thinking about? We would take yeah. a look around here. So you can see the same oven comes in a single. Also, telescopic rack. Oh. And then a double wall oven. If you're cooking for lots of people. Yeah, you got the space. I mean, yeah. talk about how great that is, right? Um, and the thing I really like about having a double wall oven is that you could slow cook in one oven mm -hmm. uh, all day. And then when you get home, you can finish off your sides in the other oven while this is finishing up top. That's so true. lots of possibility. And I love... Um, things that do more than one thing, yeah. <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah. ha not having to have an air fryer anymore, getting rid of my slow cooker, it even dehydrates. Mm -hmm. So getting rid of my dehydrator, that's three appliances that take up room in my, in my cupboards and they're just gone, mm -hmm. which is A plus for me. Steam bake is another awesome feature that I love about this oven. So using steam and baked goods is why, is one of the reasons why when you go to a bakery, their baked goods are just so good. They're light and crispy and delicious. And steam plays a big role in that. And so allowing to, to do that at home, there's a lot of, um, if you go online, there's lots of ways that people have tried to get around this by putting dishes in the bottom, using spray, uh, 
spray bottles, um, covering their baked goods with like bowls and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so lots of DIY workarounds, but just having it in your oven means you don't have to, you don't have to worry about it and you'll have better baked goods. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Liam is saying she's added Turkish Delight to cookies, Ooh. yes, or maybe we would think about it. Yeah. yeah, that sounds good. And Tina was saying that this would be great for Christmas dinners. I mean, that's, that's oh, exactly definitely. it, right? Yeah, exactly. If you've got a big family, you do a lot of um, a lot of entertaining, a double wall oven is... Yeah, my, my annoyance is always, I'm the one cooking the turkey, and then mm -hmm. when people come over, right, if they're over before the turkey's done, they've got all these sides that they want heated up, right? Which I'm exactly. thankful, thankful that they're bringing it, but at yeah. the same time, I got one oven, right? Yeah, so if I had the two, it's like, oh yeah, just keep the bottom one at like what you know what I mean, like two fifty or something, like something yeah. low, and just kind so of so it's just ready when it people up. arrive. You can just throw stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. right. That would be good, Tina. So nice. this is the this is the Frigidaire Gallery. They also have a Frigidaire Professional, which we mm -hmm. can take a look at over here. All right. And remember, uh, there is a fall Reno event on right now, which means that you can save up to a thousand dollars on qualifying purchases. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. So That's if like you're three tanks of gas. <laughs> So this is the Frigidaire Professional and some differences from the Frigidaire Professional from the gallery is that you don't have the touch screen. You have, um, it's a, it's by, you know, a knob. So if you're a more tactile person, mm -hmm. you like turning the knobs instead of pushing the screen. Mm -hmm. This might be for you to set your temperature and all your modes. So it has the air fry, the slow cook, the broil, convection bake. Uh, no preheat as well, steam roast, steam bake. So you yeah. still have that no steam preheat, option. No preheat, right? Like that's really going to save you some time, right? Yeah, exactly. Especially if you have a frozen meal, you want it like a frozen lasagna or something really dense. It works really well for that. Mm -hmm. uh, the Frigidaire Professional comes with an air fry basket. Nice. Uh, it still has the true convection. Jay Pizzle, nice to see you again. Welcome. Thank you Always for joining. One of our loyal friends. Always showing up. And the convec and the telescopic rack. Telescopic rack! Yeah. So lots of options uh, if you're looking for a new wall oven. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This Frigidaire definitely has a lot of options, so. Mm -hmm. And new to this model, there's some fun details on the side. Oh, yeah. Instead of just a... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you have stylish. a really cute, stylish detail there. Yeah, that logo almost has like a Greek feel to it. Yeah, you know? like very sleek. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Very cool. All yeah. right. So you have any questions about uh, either the wall ovens or with the gallery or the professional? Yeah, let us know, line. folks. Right. You're still in there in the chat. We can see you. Right. So, I mean, if you got the questions, now's the time. Right. Yeah. Or let me know if you have any questions about Halloween baking. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we also have, uh, don't, uh, don't get rid of that Halloween candy after the trick or treaters no. are done. Let's say you don't have kids of your own. You got some extra candy hanging around. What are we doing, uh, next week as well? You gotta let them know about that. Yes. So next week on Monday, we're going to talk about wine pairings with, uh, your Halloween candy. Ooh. So the kids are out trick or treating. Uh, someone else is taking them. You're mm -hmm. sitting at home with your wine and, and treats or mm -hmm. maybe a beer and treats or a cider and treats. Yeah. I will tell you what will go with which. And uh, we're going to be talking about Silhouette wine, for, wine and Beverage Centers and why uh, that's beneficial to your wine and beverage storage. Awesome. And on Tuesday, we're in November, mm -hmm. so we're talking about calzones, and I'll be firing up the wood-fired oven with Fontana. Oh, so definitely don't want to lose track of this website, no. folks. Now, Tina's asking how long do they take to preheat. Now, you were actually just talking about the no preheat function. Yes, on these, so there right? is a no preheat function, which means you can start cooking right away. So mm -hmm. it's very fast. Um, regular preheat uh, won't take much time at all, probably similar to to your current oven. But any time that you're cooking to get, it may say it's up to a certain temperature, but I always like to let my ovens uh, preheat a lot faster, or mm -hmm. sorry, a lot longer, a little bit longer, yeah. just to make thing, sure things are really up to temp. I like doing that too, just so like everything in there, the, the rack and everything is all like oh, retaining heat, like everything, everything exactly. that's supposed to be warm is warm. Cause I don't all just- surfaces are warm. Yeah, because it's measuring the air temperature and I want to make sure that the racks are, are heated too. So, for example, if I'm cooking with cast iron, mm -hmm. I'm going to preheat my cast iron pan and I'm going to let it sit in there for about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. But that's because it's also like a denser material. That's right. Yeah. You know, Robert was asking what size of the ovens, but luckily our TA appliance account is already answering questions like that. Uh, these three products are 30-inch built-in wall ovens. Yes. I believe they are... 10.6 cubic feet. Oh, look at that. There you go. 
Stats. Boom. Stats on stats on stats. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So to recap, we are here, right? Frigidaire showroom. Checking all this stuff out. Why mm -hmm. as well, too? You know, to use the oven, right? In case you needed to bake what? Well, what did we bake again? Halloween cookies. Halloween cookies made of? Halloween candy. Halloween candy instead of? Chocolate chips. Yeah, exactly, right? Just Your favorite chocolate chip recipe, swapping the candy. Yeah. With some so fun eyeballs. You don't even have to use ours, although will ours be available for people to check out? Yes. Right? We always end up having our... Uh, uh, our recipes up on our blogs, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so, so you can, can check, check that out. out. Right, can you run both at the same time? Says Jay Pizzle, yes, yes you can, right? So in this case, this is the both, that's the microwave on the top slash convection oven. Mm -hmm. And then the actual oven down on below, you can run both of those. Mm -hmm. On the double oven, you can definitely run both of them. Um, can you imagine if you couldn't? I think that would be so frustrating, right? Yeah. Have these two ovens, you can't I wouldn't even, be happy. <laughs> they have to be but the same temperature. Be... and. Very happy if I had this. Oh my goodness, yes. People don't realize that a lot of a lot of like favorite restaurants and stuff that people go to, they don't necessarily have one oven. They might have two oh, because they have one have for six ovens. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. Like you got ones for different temperatures for different things, right? So exactly, you might have one up around four twenty five. If you got a pizza oven as well, you might want that one up around like six hundred or something like that mm -hmm. or whatever else. Like having the ability to independently control and. Uh, your ovens means that you can create really awesome meals. Totally, yeah. totally. What are the cooking modes on the microwave combination? Let's check it out. So it is convection or microwave. Right, it's one or the other. Preset modes, but you can cook rice, veggies, frozen veggies, bacon, defrost popcorn, melt or soften, mm -hmm. reheat or a top grill. Look at that, Robert. Hopefully that answers your question there. So much more than your standard microwave, that's for absolutely, sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's take a look inside of that one more time, huh? So, you know, you still got your plate in there to kind of, you know, mm. you got the rack. And then if you, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but if you look up top, you've got a, a top element for yeah. the top grill. There you go. Mm -hmm. Right. You can see the convection fan back there. Right. So it's got a heating element behind it. You said, I think. Yes. Right? So that's what true convection means. It's mm -hmm. also sometimes called European convection. Oh. So if you see that when you're looking at appliances, it means you have an, a third element. I have element. learned so much with you, Anna. All the time. We do these little shoots and there's always the stuff that we know we're going to talk about. And then you end up still throwing me like four or five facts and I'm like, what? How did that happen? How is that a thing? So there you go. Lots of space in there. That thing looks really cool at the back. It almost looks like a portal to another world. Right? Yeah. I like that. I've never seen one that looks like that before. That's cool. There you go. You can see all the cook modes right now in the chat. Uh, if you're wondering about what this thing is capable of. The actual, uh, the lower oven part here, for sure. I remember you can click on any of the ovens on the right-hand side of your screen, and even that fall reno event. That's right. Link as well to learn Fall more. reno event. There might be some people I see that have just joined in the past minute or so. What's oh, the fall reno event? Welcome. So the fall reno event, purchase any qualifying products and you can save up to a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Right? Yeah, which That's... makes a big difference. You can do a lot with a thousand dollars. You can buy a ticket to a Leafs game, like one. I was right? thinking of buying more things for your kitchen. <laughs> yeah. You can buy a Leafs game ticket. Yeah, a ticket, you know? Oh, okay. And I just heard for the fall reno event, our Frigidaire professional, the Frigidaire professional line, uh, qualifying purchases save up to $2,000. Whoa! Yeah. Two Leafs tickets. Yeah. Two, two Leafs tickets, <laughs> three tanks of gas. You know what I mean? No, but honestly, no joking, that is a lot of money. That is a lot of money to save. That's not something that like I would take lightly if I was shopping right now. No. So you definitely want to act if that's if that's on your list of things to do. What better time, right? That's that's two thousand dollars. That's no joke. So, yeah, they're saying Anna Banana for the win. Says Jay Pizzle. You know Jay Pizzle's a big fan of Anna Banana for sure, <laughs> right? <laughs> Any other questions, folks? There's still a fair amount of you here. I mean, we're here, right? We're here in the room. Yeah, we're here to answer. You know your what questions. I mean? We're 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 here at Frigid Air. Like you look at the beautiful setups they got. I love the lights here. The lights makes are everything nice. look all nice. It's one of my favorite places to come mm -hmm. shoot stuff, so. And let's check out, let's go back over to the Frigidaire Professional line. Right, so here's more of the stuff there. So you've seen stuff there. the Frigidaire Gallery, yeah. Frigidaire Professional. As we just mentioned, the fall reno event on now save up to $2,000 on qualifying purchases with Whoa. Frigidaire Professional. Whoa. Yeah. It's no joke. Like, no. <laughs> uh, 
What would you use air sous vide for? Ooh, air sous vide. Anything mm. you would do sous vide for. <laughs> so you would need um, the the bags, mm -hmm. right, to remove all of your air. Uh, but you, anytime you're cooking sous vide, um, if you're cooking a steak sous vide, mm -hmm. you're going to cook it in the oven to your desired temperature, but you're still, it's a two-step process. You're still going to want to sear it on your stovetop before, right before you serve. Mm -hmm. um, but sous vide allows you to, to cook something to the proper temperature you're looking for and then just hold it there. So you're not at risk of overcooking anything. Right. Yeah. And that's right. one of the benefits of sous vide. Have you, you I'm assuming you've eaten sous vide food, right? Oh, yeah. Like, I haven't yet, so I'm still waiting to see what that's all about. Are you sure? A lot of restaurants use sous vide. No. Are you sure you've never had sous vide? I don't go to good vide? restaurants. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there you go. And again, that's got the air fry basket in it. Yes, so this one does come with the air fry basket. With the Frigidaire Gallery, you can purchase the air fry basket um, additionally. Mm -hmm. uh, but you could also use... Um, like a, a pan, a cookie sheet <laughs> Yeah. Uh, instead, but you're just not going to get that same kind of air circulation. Right. Yeah. Right. Which is like, so you'll end up having like that slightly mushy side on the bottom. Yeah. You'd you'll have, probably to, have, you're to, have to rotate have to it. it. And yeah. You yeah. All that stuff for these baskets. So, it's just, you're in and gone, right? Exactly. So even if you don't have the basket, it doesn't mean that you can't use the air fry um, function. You can right. still it's use no. the air fry function. Absolutely. It's just going to be improved with the basket. And what about the rack? Telescopic rack. <laughs> telescopic yeah. rack. I love a telescopic rack. <laughs> I'm sorry, you've heard me say that probably about six times. So there you go, folks. I mean, we've gone through it a couple times, right? You yeah. just let us know. Is there anything else you want to know before we head on out of here? Certainly a beautiful place to be. You know what I mean? We're still, you got lovely appliances, you know? It's a treat to be here. Uh, can you please show us the Frigidaire Pro Column Fridge? Oh, this one over here? I guess so. This one? You know? I love it. <laughs> it is very beautiful. Yeah. Smudge and it proof matches. Stainless steel. Yeah. Also smudge proof, as you just said. Mm -hmm. This one is full of some beverages. Yeah. Right. A lot of space. Ice maker. Look how bright that is. It's, it's like a showroom inside your fridge. Beautiful lighting. You know? Yeah. Unreal. And the stainless steel back as well, too. A lot mm -hmm. of people like that because it's easier to clean, right? You got your cubed or crushed ice on the outside with the water, right? We got, uh, you know, drawer in the middle here, custom flex temp drawer. Yes, this is the flex drawer, so it can go from freezer to fridge. Gives you lots of different options if you need a little bit more freezer space or you need a little bit more fridge space. Right, so you can bounce back and forth. You don't have to yeah. leave it set for one thing forever. Like if you got a party coming up and you need more fridge space, then you can have it set to that. And then as soon as you're done your party, you know, you go to the grocery store, you buy some more, uh, you know, meats or whatever like that, you need more freezer space. Boom, you or if you it. need something at a specific temperature, for example, um, ice cream, storing your ice cream at a, mm -hmm. at a lower, if you want it to, to be scoopable, you can keep it at a higher temperature, maybe higher than you'd want your freezer to be at. Very true. So it gives you lots of options. Very that true. Way. If you want to keep your wine a little bit more chilled or your cans a little bit more chilled mm -hmm. uh, than what's in your fridge, your fridge if is typically the... between four to six degrees, yep. but pop tastes so good at one degree, right? Or, oh, yeah. or a beer tastes so good at one degree. Yeah. And so having a drawer that you can do that with is, is awesome. Yeah, that's true. That one degree where it's on the verge of slush, yeah. you know, for some reason, it's just so good. You can keep your seafood colder. So when you're working with raw seafood, uh, shellfish, you want to make sure that you're cooking, you have, you're holding at really cold temperatures, but not freezing it. Mm -hmm. Also really great for food safety. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And again, lovely design too. Like as you can just see, it's reflecting the light nicely in that nice kind of like, uh, you know, it's almost like a mat, but you know what I mean? It's not mirrored, but it's nice. It's nice. Smudge free. Like I'm touching it all up and there's, there's nothing there. There's nothing there, you know, lots of freezer space, mm -hmm. right? That's a pretty deep shelf too, as yeah. well too. Like mine at home is not a Frigidaire one. You could tell because it doesn't have that much space. I need to get my game together. You know what I mean? I need to upgrade. I need to upgrade and save myself a thousand or two thousand dollars. That's right. So remember, that is a thousand dollars. Save a thousand dollars on qualifying purchases for Frigidaire Gallery, or save up to two thousand dollars on qualifying purchases for Frigidaire Professional. Wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
All right, folks. Well, that's about it for us, right? Here, let's take a little, one yeah, last we'll look go over, back here, over here where all the pretty lights are. So you know? Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure to, to check us out. We're on TikTok, Instagram. Uh, yeah. You can visit us at taappliance.com or come into one of our six locations across southwestern Ontario. Yep. If you ever miss these things live, they're always replayable on our website or they get uploaded to YouTube as well. So you can check us out on YouTube. Right. That's right. And tune in on Monday when uh, we're going to be talking about Silhouette uh, Wine and Beverage Centers and uh, the best candy to pair with your adult beverages. There you go. Which wine to put with your O. Henry? I bet you don't know the answer. I don't. I'm going to be uh, as surprised as you folks when Chef Anna finally tells us. It's going to be awesome. All right. So thank you very much, folks. And we'll be seeing you again real soon. Oh, that's my hand.